When I tell Mike talk his shit, I mean talk his shit. This is shit. Bronx to Brownsville, Brownsville back to the Bronx. Ooh. Uptown. Woo -woo. Life. Talk your shit, man. Life. Talk your shit, man. Life. Talk your Life. shit. Short night, 46 seconds. We, we, we over here, Mike. We over here now. Talk your shit. 46 seconds. <laughs> 46, 46 seconds. Fly Mike Marshall. Fly Mike Marshall. Curtis Showtime Stevens. You know. What's up, baby? What's up, man? Chillin', chillin'. So, Curtis, could you have ever imagined that you, you would have dispatched him that quickly tonight? Um, my, uncle, my uncle told me going there and just have fun tonight. Like, you know, don't think too much and I let my hands go. When I'm on that uh, A game right there, can't nobody be in the ring with me. The, the first shot was a jab and he went down. I mean, did you know right then and there that you had this? Um, I, I actually I knew like the way in because every time I seen him, he kept saying what's up to me. Like you know, like when you say what's up to me too much, I think you're a little bit scared. But uh, in the gym, I've been working on my jab because I have an excellent jab, but I don't seem to use it sometimes. So today, my uncle told me go in there, don't wait on him. And Gary told me fill him out and jab and just feel good. And I went in there, the first jab, power jab to hit him, he went down. With a win like that, no injury sustained, no problems. One would think you could get right back in. I mean. It, you know, take a couple of weeks and get just sign something and go for it. Yeah, um, you know, I'm going to sit down with Kathy and Jolene to find out what's the next step for us. Um, and we take it from there. But, you know, I'm ready to go at any time, any day, anywhere, any place, and anybody. You didn't take a lot of time off after the, the Golovkin fight. That was kind of the big, that was a lot of the big conversation. Is it your plan to be very active this year? Um, but people don't seem to understand that. I, I was off two years, like, you know, due to uh, promotional disputes with my old promoter. So um, I don't got time to be wasted. Like, you know, I got to get back in there, climb the ladder, and become middleweight champ of the world. Was it important for you to come back this strong and show everyone, hey, the Golovkin fight was the Golovkin fight, but I still belong in this spot? Of course. Um, I'm, from the, I'm from the amateurs where... Where the, anybody randomly, you could fight an Andre Ward, or Andre Durrell, or Andre Berto, whoever. So who am I to say I'm not going to fight who, or who I'm going to pick to fight? I want the best. I want the toughest. So I don't get in there with no slouches. They can't say, well, I fought a slouch tonight. You know, so, and people say that, like, you know, I'm, I was going to call out names, but fuck them, though. But. No, there, were, there were some people that actually were picking against you tonight in the blogosphere and some noted writers, actually. It's a, they 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 doing that because the Glove can fight, but that was my first world title match. I probably overthought and uh, didn't let my hands go, but it's a learning lesson. It happens. This is boxing, but I'm right back at you today. It wasn't a few minutes after the fight, and the uh, name of Peter Quillen spilled out into the ring, and there was a little talk there. Can you talk about a potential matchup with a, with a Peter Kid Chocolate Quillen? Yeah, Kid Chocolate, he's a good friend of mine, but this is boxing. This is business. Like you know, he has a title. We're in the same weight class, so. If it's in my way, you got to be ran over. Or, like, you know, I love to fight him, too. Don't matter. Nobody wants to fight him. I see. Like, you know, I just made short work. He's somewhere going to fight March or April. It's in the contract to Kathy. We could do it. Do you, he, he's from New York. You're from New York. Do you guys have any prior history? Have you guys done some sparring work and that kind of stuff? Yeah, we, 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 sparred, we sparred back in the day, uh, like, when we first started out. Like, you know, like I said, good friend of mine. But it's his business. It got to be handled at the end of the day. So, you know, it's in a contract. I need that title. And if not Quillen, is there, is there other guys out there that you'd, you'd like to get in the ring with? Yeah, um, who else? Uh, Sergio and Chavez supposed to be fighting. You know, I love that match, too. The Golovkin and Kirkland, they say, going at it. Like, you know what I'm saying? I love a piece of Kirkland ass, too, you know. But uh, whoever, like, you know, I'm, I, I, just, I just want some work. Like, you know, just got finished. You know, that, that, fight, that, fight, that fight is behind me. So who's next? It's in the contract. Let's do it. Well, never loved Thanks. us. Appreciate it.